Y'all don't remember. I swear y'all don't got the recording. I been told y'all shot spike them bottles. The uh, fuck? I know he spiked them bottles. On GQ, I spiked a couple bottles with him. I spiked one with him before. The little joint, uh, back in the day, I ain't gonna say no names, but we, I spiked a bottle with him before my mother. I was a spike kid. I, I spiked one bottle with him before. I'm wild. I'm guilty. I ain't gonna lie. He showed me how to do it and I did it one time. I ain't gonna lie. I can't lie. It, I didn't buy the liquor or the, or the shit to spike it with, though. He did it. He just told me how to do it real quick. Like, he just put the Molly in a Patron. I bet you it was a Patron or a 42. It wasn't no, wasn't no 42 out at the time. But he being putting that shit in, you got to put that shit in a dark drink and tur- stir that shit up. I swear to God, every cup. And listen to me. Any girl that ever been around Shaq Dizzy was you super duper drunk and shit, just think about it. Now you can think about it. Now this shit like the Me Too movement. Any girl that ever been around a glizzy gang, just think about when y'all got drunk. Y'all was super drunk. Like, that was the extra drunk guy ever did. That'll, 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 that'll let you know right there. I swear to God, my mother. If some girls know they was with the glizzy gang, they got drunk and shit when I like extra drunk. Y'all don't remember, I swear. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Shorts. Welcome back to another video. And what in the Me Too rape culture is this? The guy on screen right here goes by the name Ant Glizzy, and he is an associate of Shy Glizzy. Now, Ant Glizzy tells us that him and Shy Glizzy have spiked women's drink together. Now, this is a story within itself, but why is this even more of a story? It's because there's a woman that goes by the name of Sky Bree, and she went on the No Jumper podcast with Adam22, and she talked about her experience with Shy Glizzy, where he pressured her to uh, take a blue pill, and then he cornered her inside of a room, whipped his dick out, and told her to suck it. When she refused to give the man fellatio, he said, you're not going to get paid for your day's work today. She went to like the production crew. She told them, she said, and they told her, yeah, that's not cool. And they just got her out of the room. Now, look, this guy right here, Aunt Glizzy, he's he's a close associate with um, Shy Glizzy. He told or he said that him and Shy Glizzy do it all the time. He was trained in the art of spiking women j- drinks by Shy Glizzy himself. This right here. Is some sick stuff now. You you two and your whole glizzy gang, whatever the hell y'all got going on, y'all are all grown men. You know better than this. He even talked about how make sure that it's a dark type of drink. So whenever you dip the whenever you dip the, the substance inside of the drink, they don't know what's in there. He also says that they've been doing it for a really long time. He tells all the women, if you've ever been around shy glizzy and you've been more than just drunk, guess why? They probably they probably spiked your drink. Now, here's what's probably gonna happen. More than likely, it's gonna be some Me Too movement allegations against you, Shy Glizzy. You a sick individual. And let me just say this: he has not come out to respond to the allegations. They're just allegations right now. We don't really know if they're true. But this guy's a close associate of yours. I don't see why a close associate. And he said that he did it as well. I don't know why he would lie about that. Why would he lie about that? Why would he say that, yes, me and Shy Glizzy spike people drinks? So more than likely, Shy Glizzy and you and your whole Glizzy gang, while you out there, you know, spiking people drinks, you know, date raping people, allegedly. More than likely, it's going to be some Me Me Too movement allegations. More than likely, it's going to be a lot of women coming out to talk about their experiences around you. Get inside the comments section below. Let me know what you think about this. Who knows? It might be that short man syndrome. You know, I heard that Shy Glizzy's like 5'2", 5'4", something like that. So maybe he thinks he got to do some extra stuff. I honestly don't know. But if this is true, it's some sick stuff. Get inside the comments section below. Let me know what you think about this. Boy Shorts, and I'll see you on the next one. Y'all don't remember. I swear y'all don't got the recording. I been told y'all I shot spike them bottles. The uh, fuck? I know he spiked them bottles. On GQ, I spiked a couple bottles with him. I spiked one with him before. The little joint, uh, back in the day, I ain't gonna say no names, but we, I spiked a bottle with him before my mother. I was just spike here. I, I spiked one bottle with him before. I'm wild. I'm guilty. I ain't gonna lie. He showed me how to do it, and I did it one time. I ain't gonna lie. I can't lie. It, I didn't buy the liquor or the, or the shit to spike it with, though. He did it. He just told me how to do it real quick. Like, he just put the Molly in a Patron. I bet you it was a Patron or a 42. It wasn't no, wasn't no 42 out at the time. But he be putting that shit in. You got to put that shit in a dark drink and tur- stir that shit up. I swear to God, every cup. And listen to me. Any girl that ever been around Shaq Dizzy was you super duper drunk and shit, just think about it. Now you can think about it. Now this shit like the Me Too movement. Any girl that ever been around a glizzy gang, just think about when y'all got drunk. Y'all was super drunk. Like, that was the extra drunk guy ever did. That'll, 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 that'll let you know right there. I swear to God, my mother. If some girls know they was with the glizzy gang, they got drunk and shit when I like extra drunk. Y'all don't remember. I swear.